happy Friday. So, as you guys know, because I mentioned in yesterday's video, um, yesterday was me and my husband's anniversary. Um, not the anniversary of our marriage, but the anniversary of us being together. Um, I know some people, once they get married, they don't celebrate like that anymore. Um, but I still think it's important because those are the years that led us to our marriage. So I still think it's important and special um, to acknowledge each other on that day. But anyway, so um, eight years and yeah, so we ended up, he got out of work a little early, which was so nice. I think he got home around like four, which is so nice. Um, and we weren't exactly sure what we were going to do. Um, like I said in my previous video, it's like different now getting each other things. Um, because in the past we would have just stocked up on chocolates and candies and this and that. And, you know, gone somewhere unhealthy and whatever. But like, we're not doing that. So this year we both had like the same exact thought process. And we both got each other a cute little card. Actually, he got me two cards. One was like a gag card. Um... And then the other one was a sweet card. And then, funny enough, we both got each other, like, a, a piece of chocolate. Like, a sugar-free, healthy chocolate. So, that was funny that we had the same thought. Um, but, we ended up going to our pool that's in our community. Um, and spending, I don't know, two hours there, which was really nice. And then, last minute, we decided, okay, let's go to dinner. Because I was like, I don't want to spend money on food that I know is going to hurt my stomach. Um, and go somewhere that, like, there aren't great options and stuff. So, we had a gift card to the Cheesecake Factory. And I was like, I really, I really just don't want to go there because I, I know what's going to happen and I just don't want to do that. I've been feeling good. Like I, I don't want to do that. So very last minute we decided to go to a steakhouse in our area. And before that, because I didn't think we were planning on actually going out to eat, I put all of our clothes in the wash because um, I needed to do some laundry. And so when we got home, um, from the pool when we decided we were gonna go I was like shit I don't have any clothes I have like nothing um, nothing of my normal wear anyway and so I was going through my closet and Tim decided to get a little bit dressed up so he had on like his jeans and he had on a um, like salmon colored polo and I was like well all right well since he's a little dressed up I guess I'll go to my like dressier ish clothes and I just wanted something easy. I was still wet from the pool, like didn't even have time to shower. It was like last second decision. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna throw on the dress that I wore um, to my bridal shower. And I'll put some um, dry shampoo in my hair. I, I did my hair up basically just like this. Had the pieces out in the front so that I looked like, you know, appropriate. Um, but I put that dress on and mind you, so as of this morning, I'm 249.8, which I don't know how I lost any ounces or anything at all after the meal we ate last night. Um, but that's like over 56 pounds down now. And so obviously the dress is going to fit, you know, a little bit different. But me and my fucking weird brain, I put it on and... I was like, okay, yeah, like it still fits me. Like it's, it's good. But just like I said yesterday in that video to you guys, or maybe it was the day, I think it was yesterday's video where I talked about like taking the pictures. I set my camera up and I said to my husband, like, okay, we got to like do a picture. When I tell you my jaw dropped, like dropped. When I looked at the picture that we took of us, I I feel like I look like a completely different person in that dress. And so I went back, funny enough, I have a picture from my bridal shower of Tim and I almost standing in like the same exact position um, 
when I had that dress on previously. And I put them side by side and I'll pop a picture up for you guys because it is wild. Like, I was shocked. I was so shocked. Um, I don't know. I just, in that moment, I was like, whoa. And like, I know recently I've been doing like a lot of side by sides, but it still shocks me every single time. And for some reason, this picture in particular, like really, really shocked me. Um, I don't know. It's just like crazy. Like, it's just so crazy. And you know, what's interesting. And Tim and I were talking at dinner about, um, just like obviously our last eight years together and all of these things and looking at the pictures and you know him saying obviously I loved you then I love you now and like same for me because he's lost like 59 pounds um since then as well um and it's just so crazy to see how much like happier we look in the new pictures like how much healthier we look in the new pictures and like I just I can't help but wish that like we did this sooner um but like obviously can't go back and like you know change things the only thing that we can do is live in the moment now and we are living like I feel like our our relationship is getting you know stronger than it already was and it's just it's really it's really interesting um I wanted to ask you guys a question. I just asked him this question this morning, but I want to ask you guys because you guys are the ones that watch my videos and stuff. How would you feel? What is your comfort level on if Tim and I did a video based on, and this would be respectfully, um, it would be, you know, obviously rated for YouTube. Um, but how would you guys feel if we did a video about intimacy after weight loss? Um, because I feel like that's not something I hear a lot of people talk about. And it's definitely something that does change for some people for the better, for some people for the worse. Um, so just let me know your thoughts on that. Is that something you guys would be comfortable with? Something you're curious about? Like... Let me know how you feel about that. But anyway, we were talking and we realized last night that between the two of us, since January, or I guess the end of January for me, beginning of February for him, because I believe that's when he started his medication, we have lost a, a total between the two of us of 115 pounds. Like... That is so crazy. That is absolutely insane. Like, I don't, I'm just so proud of us. I'm so proud of him. And it just, ugh, I'm just, I'm happy. I'm very happy. And yeah, yesterday was a good day. Seeing that picture side by side, I just like, just, yeah, melted my heart and made me go, holy moly. Like, that's a lot of weight. Like approaching almost 60 pounds now, it feels unreal. Like I was just so excited that I hit 20 pounds and 30 pounds and 40 pounds and 50 pounds. And like, we're right on the edge of 60 pounds. Like I feel it in my soul this time that like, I'm going to get to that hundred pound mark. Like I believe in myself wholeheartedly this time around. Um, and I, I won't lie because I literally never lie to you guys. Um, I still did when we were sitting at dinner and looking at the side by sides and looking at that new picture of us and stuff like I still did have the moment of, oh, well, it's just the way I'm standing and it's just the angle of the camera and it's just that I'm standing farther back from you this time and you and it's hiding part of my body like I'm still having all of these initial thoughts when I see pictures of myself but they're not lasting very long because I, then, then I tell myself no you're wrong 
Um, so I think that's a step in the right direction. Um, because the thoughts aren't like, I, I don't believe the thoughts as much anymore. Like they're still there. Every time I see a picture, they're still coming forward. Um, but I don't believe them anymore. Um, and you know what's interesting as well is that I um, was looking at the side-by-sides and I was looking at the picture of me, you know, almost 60 pounds heavier. And I was like, yeah, that's what I look like. Like that's, that's me. That's what I see in the mirror. And then I had to stop myself and, and look at the other one and be like, no, that is what you look like right now. That is what you used to look like. This is what you look like now. Like start seeing that girl in the mirror. Stop seeing the other girl. The other girl was beautiful. The other girl got you through so many things. The other girl is not a bad person, but that's not who you are anymore and that is okay. So it's a lot of uh, a lot of mental realizations lately and a lot of like I need I really truly am gonna start doing some sort of like um, positive self-talk you know positive affirmations and stuff in the mirror because I think that that stuff really does work um, and it's time that I like teach myself to love myself at this stage and at my previous stage um, but like accept this new person that is literally right in front of me right now because I don't think I've fully accepted her yet um, because I'm I, I think I'm afraid that once I accept her is when I'm going to lose her like when I get too comfortable with her is when I'm gonna fuck it all up. Um, that's another thing I need to stop like doing to myself. It's okay to be excited and it's okay to be proud of where I'm at right now. And that's a full sentence. I'm not gonna justify it because it's okay. So yeah, 115 pounds between the two of us, like, it's just so crazy. I'm so proud of us. But yeah, that was our night last night. Really nice dinner. Oh, oh my God. Literally didn't even talk about dinner. So another thing, another huge thing we talked about was how different we, Tim and I really have only gone out to eat with other people um, since we started this whole thing. And it's only been, like, I think I can count on one hand, probably, how many times it's been. I don't think, uh, I don't think we've gone out to eat just the two of us to a restaurant since we started all of this, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but we both got a steak. He got, um, collard greens and a sweet potato as his two sides. And I got broccoli and mashed potatoes. I was gonna do um, a sweet potato, but I have sweet potatoes all the time. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be wild tonight and I'm gonna get the mashed potatoes. Um, I couldn't finish literally like even half of everything because it was so filling. Um, I was shocked that I couldn't finish a lot of it um but we were also discussing just how different our ordering experiences were last night like normally if we were out somewhere we would have gotten appetizers we would have gotten you know french fries with our meal we would have probably gotten a cheeseburger we would have gotten like just so many unhealthy things which is fine. Like, I still believe that we're allowed to have those things in moderation. But, like, being able to go to a restaurant and not come home feeling like death because I put so much shit in my body is, like, a whole new experience. 
Um, and then they were so sweet. They knew it was our anniversary. And so they let us pick a dessert. And Tim and I were like, yeah, we're going to pick a dessert and we're going to split it. And like, we're not going to feel guilty about it. So we split the like lava cake that they had and it came with like ice cream and stuff. This bowl was ginormous. We ate, I want to say less than half of it. And then the both of us were like satisfied and good. And that was it. Like that whole thing would have been gone or we would have gotten two desserts. I just, yeah, it's, it's just so crazy how like everything has changed, <laughs> you know, like I said, from the way that we look to how we are acting, to how we're treating ourselves, to how we're treating each other. Um, all the way to like how we're eating and ordering and doing things at restaurants. Like he got one beer and I got a water, which isn't super uncommon. I really only get water everywhere I go, but it's still just, I don't know. I, I'm just very proud of us, like I said. So yeah, that was our, that was our date night, our eight year anniversary. And I couldn't have been happier with how it went and I just love him so much and he's such a huge part of my support system along with my sisters and my family and my friends and I'm just feeling very grateful today. Very lucky and very grateful. And I hope everybody has a great Friday and I can't believe it's been a week already since I went home and saw my baby. <sighs> but I get to go home in June and see her and my family again. So counting down the days for that. But. Yeah, let me know about that intimacy video if you guys want to see it because I feel like it's really interesting, um, especially as a plus size couple um, who is down a significant amount of weight. So, plus I'm nosy and like to know that shit. So, if y'all are nosy too, you know I'm an open book. So, ask me your questions. <laughs>